Ah, uh, yes. The reclusive and heavily caffeinated college student, built for long hours of studying and partying, working hard and playing harder. In return, their immune system must be efficient and be able to keep up with their busy lifestyle. Let's observe the college student in their natural environment. Oh no! There has been a foreign invasion! Let's take a closer look to see what the immune system is doing. The bloodstream. From afar, everything seems to be functioning normally. But there has been a foreign invasion. The immune system must work quickly in order to get rid of this pathogen. Boom! <laughs> A large phagocytic cell designed to sniff out and destroy foreign invasions in the body. He's here. It's the macrophage. A macrophage is a type of leukocyte. Leukocytes are white blood cells originating from stem cells in the bone marrow. They are capable of migrating through the bloodstream and localized barrier tissues in order to defend the host. Leukocytes can be differentiated into mononuclear agranulocytes, which do not contain granules and have one distinctly shaped and segmented nucleus, and polymorphonuclear granulocytes, which are granulated and contain abnormally and varying shaped nuclei. Macrophages themselves are derived from a monocyte, a type of mononucleated cell. Monocytes are large, white blood cells that immigrate into the bloodstream and mature into macrophages. They represent anywhere from 2 to 6 percent of the white blood cells present in the system. Macrophages act as sensors in the immune system and are capable of becoming antigen-presenting cells or cells with antigen receptors on them. This will play an important role in the saving of the college student. Now, let's get back and see what happens. The macrophage has spotted the bacterium. Now the chase begins. Is now trying to digest the bacterium. However, the macrophage needs some help. The bacteria is excreting some endotoxins such as lipopolysaccharides. Take that, macrophage! by the endotoxins being secreted by the bacterium, and it begins to release interferons, which will inhibit bacterial multiplication. The macrophage also loads an MHC2 receptor into a vesicle, and using exocytosis puts the receptor on the cell membrane. peptide presented on the MHC2 protein outside the cell, the macrophage could use a little help. Help! 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 Oh look! The T cell has come to the rescue. But what is a helper T cell? T cells are lymphocytes derived from stem cells in the bone marrow. Early in a host cell's life, these immature lymphocytes will migrate to the thymus where they undergo further processing to become T lymphocytes. The thymus releases thymosin, a hormone that enhances proliferation of new T cells within the lymphatic tissues 
and also dictates the, dictates the immune capabilities of an existing T cell. When mature, the T cells reside on the peripheral lymphoid tissues, such as the lymph nodes. There are several different kinds of T cells, cytotoxic T cells, helper T cells, and regulatory T cells. Helper T cells choreograph the activities of other immune cells and are by far the most numerous. There are two types of helper T cells, Th1 cells that activate macrophages and initiate actions of cytotoxic T cells, and Th2 cells that activate B cell movement and antibody secretion. Helper T cells, Th1, are capable of recognizing antigens, foreign molecules such as antigen presenting receptors on macrophages, such as MHC2. The helper T cell recognizes this complex using a CD4 co-receptor, which triggers T cell activation. Aside from a macrophage, a dendritic cell can also exhibit this, this protein and activate T cells as well. Let's head back and see how our cells are doing. The helper T cell has found the infected macrophage thanks to the MHC2 proteins. The helper T cell then secretes an interferon, which binds to the interferon receptors on the macrophage surface. And they display the co-stimulatory protein CD40 lignin, which binds to the CD40 on the macrophage. Once activated, the macrophage can kill the microbes it contains. The cellular and vesicle membranes fuse, unleashing a hydrolytic attack, and the activated macrophage makes oxygen radicals and nitric oxide, both of which are highly toxic to the microbes. The immune system has made quick work of the infection. The college student, oblivious to the danger he has evaded, continues to pull an all-nighter to study for, their, for his exam tomorrow. The T helper cells have now done what they've had to do. The immune system has kept up with this busy lifestyle, and we've all lived happily ever after.